Hey, what's up, guys? Oz Creative Gamer here, and welcome to my first Minecraft video for my channel. I'm gonna be doing a multiple series of this on Minecraft tutorials and stuff you guys would want to know. And if you don't know, this is perfect for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Minecraft 1.4.5 bucket server. I know it's changed a little bit from the previous generation bucket server, but still pretty simple and you guys will be able to set it up in about 5 minutes, probably less, if you understand the tutorial pretty well. So we're going to start off, I've made a wee folder here called Server Setup. In the description you'll have a link to download these run files from me, and I made these myself, So, uh, and a link to the Buckets dev site where we can download the most up-to-date uh, craft bucket build so for me this one is 2529 was the most up to date one uh, at this time so I'm just going to hit the download button, we're going to keep it what else is downloading, I'm just going to explain to you what the run files do so there's 1, 2, 3 and 4 but you're not going to need them all, you're just going to have to at first time I'd recommend dragging them all into your whatever folder you make for your server to run off of but after that you'll know what one will work for you and you just need to keep using that one into your servers so I know one worked for me so I'm gonna drag one into here and that's us done for the jar the bar file so this uh, jar file is downloaded from craft bucket we're just gonna drag this over here the only thing you have to do with this file is rename it so you just want to take everything away from the back of it and hit delete so it just says craft bucket and then you're just going to hit copy and paste it into here. If you want to make multiple servers, you need to keep this because that's what runs all the servers. So once you're in here, all you do is hit run one and it starts to prepare your server for you. It prepares the spawn area of your map and just everything in your map. This, you also need to do a different thing for this if you're going to load custom maps into your server. But I'm going to make another video for that and I'll explain at the end of the video all about that. So pretty much your server is all ready to go right now. So we're going to just open your minecraft and there's another thing you would need here but I'm not going to show you this just for my safety you need to go onto a website called my IP get your IP address and give that to your friends if you want your friends to play and then all they need to do is come into minecraft add server name it wherever you want and give them your IP once I've done that they'll get something that looks like this and it will say it's open with whatever connections stuff is going on and tells you how many players are in it if the server's running correctly but if you're just connecting to your own server and can't be bored setting up your server all you need to do is hit direct connect and type in local host and that is you connected to your server it's easy as that so um, as you can see we have too many items installed but it's not going to work look we don't have permissions to set too many items or anything so I'm going to show you a very easy fix for this so all you need to do is come back over to the server file and then just type in op for op and then type in your minecraft name there we go let's come back to the game you can see I'm now opt in the game and then you're just going to hit it now works see too many items is now active and we're on creative mode we can fly around destroy stuff and you can build a load of crap if you want it's really up to you and you can install lots of mods and different plugins for servers and stuff which I'm going to show you in a different video and uh, once we get a certain amount of likes and stuff but that was going to probably going to be the third video in the series the series so now you can just disconnect and to save your server all you do is stop into here it saves your level chunks and saves your map so if you're doing a custom map it saves you where you are and all the stuff that's done and stuff it's good like that and that's it done so just quick recap uh, you download the run files from me the craft bucket from the craft bucket website which is in the description you make a folder you drag over whatever run that you know works for you and the craft bucket jar run uh, whatever one works for you one two three or four and then that sets up your server also if you want to do anything else for your server i would recommend getting a uh, notepad plus plus it's free just type it in google and this allows you to change some stuff in the server but i'll go in depth in this on how to when you're learning to put custom maps into your server but if you want to change how many people players can come into your server you can just do it right here easy as that 
you can change the game type so if you want creative or whatever difficulty pvp if you want people to kill each other and you can choose a texture pack for the server and that's pretty much all you need to know in there i'll go more in depth in our video pretty much that is it and also or one last thing uh, see this permissions here this it lets you know who has permissions in your server so if you want someone banned you put their name there and that's it or uh, banned if you know their ips so that's pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed it please hit the like button below leave a comment if you liked the video and let me know if i can improve it or anything if you want the audio quality a bit better which i'm trying to do try to find out to get a warmer feel from my voice in the microphone but if it's alright for you, leave it in the comments. Help get this video 15 likes and I'll upload the video on how to load adventure maps or parkour maps into your bucket server. And then after that video, I'll show you how to install plugins like world edit and different mods into your Minecraft server. So guys, we will catch you in the next episode after 15 likes. Or if you want to watch one of my lives, please, after this video, you never know. Right guys, we'll see you later.